Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So I'm going to show you two replays in the King Tiger Sea. I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth the other day when I made the video about the King Tiger Sea, and I was like, oh, it's uh, probably the second worst tank I ever had. And somebody had messaged me, and they they said, are you are you serious? That you know, does this thing really suck that bad? And you know, I went back and thought about it, and it's not really that the the tank sucks. It actually is a pretty good tank. Um, the The fact is, is I was probably I was playing it kind of wrong. It's a uh, kind of a support heavy when you're you know bottom tier, and when you're top tier, you can push harder with it. But the 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 mistake I was making was when I was bottom tier I was still pushing as if I were a top tier so it would be a tier nine match and uh, you know here I was pushing first one out there and um, taking the hits and you know three hits from a, a higher you know tier nine there uh, or two hits from like uh, a t95 or something and boom you're out of the match and um, it just, it, I, I wanted to show that, and it's funny now that I think about it, both these replays are on the exact same map. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, but anyways, so you're going to see, it's, I guess this is a prime example then, uh, on being top tier and then being bottom tier in the same tank, same map, and I go in the same area. So, actually, I think I kind of almost play it the same way. Um, so it, it'll show you exactly why you know I, I was changing kind of eating the words that I had said about this being a piece of crap because it's not it is actually a really good tank it's just I wasn't playing it correctly I should have definitely been playing um, put one through his commander's hatch he he hit me knocked my track off but that damn OI hit me and splashed me for uh, 300 and some uh, damage and then this damn 3485 will get out of the way. I'm like, God bless America. So the nice thing is uh, the IS there uh, can't get his gun down enough to shoot me so he had to pull out forward and he ended up, I ended up doing all the damage on the IS, I'll tell you right now. The uh, 3485 on our team there, he pulls out, gets hit by the OI. Um, I thought he took a shot at the IS, but I, I'm not, I, I don't think he did. So I get rid of that OI, because the, the thing kept just, that HE frickin' shell was just tearing us up. And um, so basically, I'm just going to keep my front kind of, to him, it's angled big time. Uh, you can see how I'm coming out that way. Unless he shoots me through the drive wheel, if he shoots my uh, upper plate or even my lower plate, it's going to be really hard for him to penetrate. He's not going to probably be able to pen my turret unless he can hit the commander's hatch. So at this angle, me coming straight at him like this, uh, the only thing I have to worry about is him shooting my front drive wheel. So we're going to keep it like this, and we're going to keep coming in and just kind of putting it through his commander's hatch and backing up. And he's going to come forward. He takes a shot at me again. I think he bounces, or I get a shot off. No, he shot the, uh, uh, the, the rock there. I knew I was going to get loaded before him. So I just push forward, take him out. Now I got an AT-8 back there shooting me with premium rounds. So I'm using the OI as, uh, as my armor. I hit his commander's hatch and bounce, so I knew I was going to have to use premium rounds to get through that commander's hatch from this distance. So we put one through his commander's hatch, and he's starting to get chewed up. He knows that, you know, in that area, he, he's getting tore up pretty bad. Um, already just, I think that might have been art. Well, that, that, that looked like an already shell. Either that or a lot of people are shooting HE shells at this guy. Um, God, what is, I got to see what's shooting at over there. Oh, the Sam 4A1, he's probably got the derp gun. Yeah, he does. So... I know I'm low enough here where he can't hit me, and I just want to get high enough, just high enough, so I hopefully can get a shot at his commander's hatch. And I think he gets taken out here in a quick second. I saw all these, the lights and mediums and tank destroyers over there, and these guys over here I wasn't paying any attention to. I get hit, caught on fire, knocked my engine out. Um, I did have an automatic fire extinguisher, it put it out. But I knew I had to get out of there real quick because I was taking a Stug 3, shot me one, uh, two times. He's the one that lit me on fire. 
Uh, so we're down to 308. The engine gets knocked out on this thing consistently, it seems like, all the frickin' time. So, all I'm doing is trying to get these guys whittled down. I think I shot a Q-tip out the gun there, because I don't know what the hell uh, happened on that round. <laughs> but I was trying to back up this uh, Oni, so because they were just trying to tear him up, so I'm trying to help him. And he was pushing this uh, M4, and he just stopped. I'm like, dang it. But uh, he ended up getting taken out. So I was going to take out their house there and get rid of the poodle. But I decided to start focusing on uh, the, the guys that are to the left of me. Um, they still have, you know, a decent amount of people. Uh, I go to shoot that Stug, and he ends up getting taken out before I get to shoot him. Uh, but we did get the uh, credit for lighting him up. And now there's a full health Tiger 1 in front of me. I'm like, oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. Um, I thought there was another tank over there, but it ended up being just him. We get shot by the poodle. Our, uh, it ended up bouncing it. He could get his gun down enough, even if I kept him permatrack there. So um, all I was just trying to do is get as much damage on this guy as I could before he took me out. And we ended up. Uh, we hit him like, let me see here. Um, Tiger 1, 223, 272. So we got a couple good shots into him. Um, he's down. So we did about 500 damage to him. And uh, I'll leave it run here. Uh, we've got our M4A1s. Uh, we got two of them, actually. I didn't realize there was two, but they're back here. They're working on him. They've got artillery and a poodle. Uh, we still have a pretty good chunk of a team, thank goodness. Um, I apologize if I left it on my carcass. I didn't... Normally, when I play these games, I uh, once I die, I usually exit out, or um, I might do paperwork or something. Oh, I did actually go on somebody else. Good. Um, uh, now that I say good, I remember this guy here actually didn't move. He ends up sitting here in this bush the rest of the match. I think I actually typed something to him like, uh, go help <laughs> or move or something. Um, oh, I said, uh, good job, team. Way to open up a can of that whoop ass. Uh, yeah, we spanked him pretty hard. I mean, it was a close match in a way. It wasn't like a blowout, like, you know, 15-0 to zero or 15-1. to one. You know, they did put up a pretty good, pretty good fight. Um, and, you know, that's this is more of a fun match for me when uh, it's a closer match. I would rather have a closer, hard-fought match than a 15-0 to zero blowout where you get, you know, three shots of damage and... Uh, that's it. I would rather, you know, have uh, uh, a close match where you're able to do a lot more damage and, um, you know, get a better WN8, get better experience, because if you blow right over them and knock them out, no, mate, this is actually, I think, the tank that just sets here. He climbs up here, full health, and just sets here, and it's full health tank destroyer. And this has got a pretty decent gun on it, if I remember right. I don't have this one. Um... I think the when they offered this tank or something that happened uh, when they offered that tank for sale, I wasn't able to get it. Um, I think uh, I was out in California. I couldn't use the, the internet was worthless or whatever. But uh, yeah, I was bummed out. I missed getting that uh, M10 RBFM uh, tank destroyer, which I mean, it's nothing special to what I understand. But you know, I just I like to have every tank that I can get, get my little tanky hands on. But we end up winning that, and like I said, I like these matches a lot more because it wasn't just a blowout. Uh, the ones you got to fight for are a lot more fun, um, you know, when when they're a closer match. But uh, so, anywho, if you guys want to hold on for a minute, I'll some post game stats, and I got another replay where we are bottom tier. So if you want to hold on, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I had. Somebody messaged me in reference to the King Tiger C. Uh, yesterday, I did the video, and in the video, I had mentioned that it's probably the second worst tank that I have. And they asked me, are you serious? Are you joking? Uh, you know, because most of the time, they said, you know, when you make a video, you know, if you say it's a piece of crap, it's a piece of crap. And... I, I guess the easiest way to put it is this tank is 
really is justifiably a good tank. It really is when you are top tier. When you are middle tier, it's still a pretty good tank. When you are bottom tier, you have to, even though it's a heavy and you're going to catch a bunch of shit from your team, you have to absolutely play a support role. Because if you're in a tier 9 match, in a tier 7 tank, you are, even though it's a heavy, you are not going to be successful, if I spit it out, successful in that tank if you have 1,300 hit points and two shots and you're dead. Or if there's a type 50, or excuse me, a T95 on the enemy team and basically two shots and you're dead. Or uh, you come around the corner and there's two E75s, two or three shots and you're dead. Um, you have to play a support role when you are bottom tier. When I play my heavies, a lot of times, even if I'm bottom tier, I still tend to push a little too hard, maybe. Um, so, when I said it's the second worst tank, I really, I, I should have not said that, because it is, uh, you know, I mean, it's ranked up there with the Tiger II, which the Tiger II is a good tank. This one, I've just been having god-awful bad matchmaking, and I keep getting Tier 9 matches, and every time I'm in a Tier 9 match, I overextend myself, push too hard, try leading the pack, and my Tier 9s are behind me, and I'm pushing in a Tier 7. And, you know, I get knocked out, and so I, I really, I'm, I guess I'm eating my words saying that it is the second worst tank I have. It's not. It's actually a pretty darn good tank. Now, if you're talking about the tier 6, I think it is gun carriage. Um, I, I'm going to just kind of scroll through here because it won't take long to find that piece of junk. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a tier 6, so we'll just go to tier 6s. Where, there it is. Churchill gun carriage. Now this is a pile of heaping cow shit. <laughs> it is the worst, absolutely the worst tank in the game. And I can honest to God say that. I've seen other people do reviews on it and they say the exact same thing. It is a steaming pile of crap. This thing is junk. The only... And I mean, the only thing that this has going for it is the gun. 220 standard pen, 252 premium, 280 uh, average damage. And it's got, um, if I remember right, it's got a decent negative 10 plus 15. Yeah, it's got good gun depression. Aim time is so-so, eh, but I mean, so the gun is about the only thing going for it, but if it's on something that's just a steaming pile of crap, it's slow, it traverses slow, I mean, let's look at, dispersion isn't too bad, uh, yeah, look at your gun traverses even slow, 27.12, let's look at uh, traverse speed, 29.64. So you're going to easily get cir circle strafed in this thing. This thing, by all means, if you can possibly skip it, don't play it. Avoid it like the Congo plague. Just stay away from it. This thing is a steamy pile of crap. It is definitely, if you want to ruin your stats, play it. But, um, yeah. So this, like I said, yeah, I kind of you know, pulling my foot out of my mouth. It's really, you know, I guess I shouldn't, I should just play it a little more careful because prime example, this match right here, I just had top tier and when I'm top tier in a, a heavy, I do push hard. Um, well, I probably push too hard when I'm even a bottom tier heavy. <laughs> so that was um, a Master Badge Class 1 uh, spotter, which is pretty sad that you're getting that in a, heavy i guess that shows how far out i am when i'm spotting uh you know the stuff and my light tanks aren't even spotting them <laughs> our scouts aren't so we got the uh, spotter award 
um, fire for effect, duelist, bruiser, high caliber. We get a bond for that. Base experience was 10,856. I did use that bonus thing too because um, it was really a good match. Uh, we hit the IS six times for 1,230. Isn't that all his hit points? Or is it 1,300? It's an IS. Let's take a peek. Um, 1,230. So, yeah, I did all the damage to him. I thought there was an IS right next to me. He pulled out and took a couple shots. I guess he bounced. Um, so, uh, the IS on uh, the enemy team, uh, which is also a Tier 7, so he was one of their top tier tanks, and the Tiger one was their other top tier, and I think they had a couple more. But... Uh, so we did six shots, so we took him from full health to dead ourselves with six shots of damage. Um, knocked out his tracks, bounced two of his rounds for 780. Uh, so 780, that means he had, what would that be, the middle gun, right? Yeah, because 390, 390, two. Oh, he had, the, he had this, the 85 millimeter on there. So that'd be two, what did I say? 180, 180, 780. Um, so I bounced two rounds. I wonder, well, yeah, two rounds, 780. I, I'm a, you can tell I'm a mathematician, aren't I? <laughs> so, um, definitely not the 100 millimeter, because that'd be 500... Um, so it couldn't be that one no matter what. So he either had the 85 millimeter on there. Because that would have been 6, 7. Oh, no, no, no. He had, uh, he probably had the uh, 122 on there then. Yeah, yeah, he had, I think he had the uh, 122 the uh, millimeter on there. So, yeah, 1 plus 1 is 36. <laughs> Hey, I never said I was good in math, man. I had to take bi or uh, uh, I almost said biology. Um, I had to take algebra in college, and man, I'm telling you guys, I I have never been afraid of anything in my life. I, I've been into I've been over in war. I've been in combat, and well, uh, if you say you weren't scared in combat, you're full of shit. Either that or you're crazy. But when I was taking uh, algebra, I was actually afraid because I just I suck with numbers. I really am bad at math. Um, just about as good as I am in light tanks. So <laughs> uh, the Tiger won, and I I shot a premium round, switched over to standard, and I switched it back to premium to pen the AT8's commander's hatch. And I think I might have forgot to put it back on standard. So I do apologize about that. When I'm top tier, I like to uh, keep it on standard if I can. And I'm almost positive I put it on premium when I was shooting at the AT-8's uh, commander's hatch. Because a standard round from that distance and that small of a target. Because um, believe me, at that distance, that little commander's hatch ain't that big. Uh, I needed all the pen I could have. So no matter where it kind of hit on that commander's hatch, it had a good chance of penetrating. Whereas a standard round you would have to hit the weakest you know spot because by the time the round gets that far um your ap round is petered out a little bit because um oops i'm like what the hell that ain't the right penetration what's going on <laughs> so 203 is at 100 meters I i'm thinking he was more like um, two, five, he was probably about 300 meters away, I'm guessing, so I'm going to say it was a probably about 190-ish pen, so that would have really struggled to go through that commander's hatch, because there's a little spot that you got to hit, um, to really, for sure, you're going to go through it, um, otherwise, you got to use premium rounds, but, well, anyways, so, uh, Tiger 2, we shot him twice for 495, uh, knocked out his track. Bounced one of his rounds to, for uh, 240. He switched over to premium rounds and started shooting me with premium. But I think I might have had premium loaded too. So, you know, I can honestly say I accidentally left it on. We originally spotted him, which 
if we originally spotted that tiger one he sat in the back of the map or something for most of the match or he loaded in super late because uh that tiger one i met him towards the very end of the match and it shows that i lit him originally so if i originally lit him that means no one else lit him that means i did originally and that means if he would have came up and uh, assisted his teammates where the OI and all the uh, the other tanks were uh, taking me and the IS on. Um, eh, it could have been a little bit different because that Tiger 1, they buffed the reload on that. And it's got a damn good gun. No, our, uh, the armor on it sucks unless you like super angle it. But then they just go through your tracks usually. Uh, let's see. The OI, we hit him one time for 154. Finished him off. Uh, he got hit for 394 upon a spotting. Uh, the Poodle, we bounced one of his rounds for 135. The T-34-85M hit him once for 211 and uh, knocked out his engine. He got hit for 77 upon a spotting. Uh, the AT-8, we put one round through him for 219 through his commander's hatch. Uh, knocked out his commander, so yep, that would make sense. He got hit for 448 upon a spotting, and we originally spotted him also. The AMD 178B, we hit him for 34, finished him off. The M4A1, we lit him up, he got hit for 35. And the Stug 2, we originally spotted him, and he got hit for 350, which I believe is all his hit points. Uh, Stug 3G, I'm almost positive that's 350 hit points is all it has. It might have a little more, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, but he got hit for 350 upon a spotting him. Uh, when I, I came up, uh, after I pushed the IS and got rid of him, I was coming around to the right because uh, I saw a bunch of enemy lighting up by those little the houses and the buildings there. And I thought, well, I'll get some side shots. But boy, I'm telling you, um, I started taking some damage from everything at that point because I had two tanks or three tanks on my left and plus all those little guys that were shooting at me from in the little little city town area there. So, yeah, I knew I was probably going to get killed pretty quick uh, once I made that little boo-boo. I pushed a little too hard. But also, I thought that Tiger 1 had gone somewhere else until I lit him up. Uh, the WN8 for that match was 4,977, which was phenomenal. Um, we went up another 3.20 on the Mark of Excellence. Uh, so we did the most damage at 23... 43 got three kills, base experience of 1167, which is really good. I thought this was going to be my ace tanker. I really, really, really did. Um, but no, it's just a master badge class one. It had to have been pretty close. There was only two of us that did. Even uh, the M4A1 did over a thousand, and I did 1343 more damage than he did. Um, but we were the only two that even broke over a thousand. I broke over two thousand. Everybody else did nine or uh, you know nine hundred and thirty-two or under. And we had uh, thirty forty-five M actually do zero, which I was kind of surprised because that's actually an overpowered tank. But uh, I don't know. He might have just went in a bad area and just got wrecked. It happens. So that happened to me. So we had twenty-one shots, fourteen hit, twelve pen. Uh, the ones I bounced were probably on that uh, AT eight. Total damage, 2343 from a distance of more than 300 meters, 464. We got hit 11 times, 6 pen, 4 bounced, and we got hit by uh, some splash damage from artillery. Uh, damage blocked by our armor was 1155. We spotted 3, damage 6, destroyed 3. Damage with our assistance was 1304. After all was said and done, we did get a bonus of the 50,000 for completing a mission. Um, personal reserve bonus, because I had a personal reserve on. Um, so we ended up making 88,699 credits, not too shabby. Uh, and then they stole some of my money, 17,340 credits, and they stuck it in my, my World of Tanks bank account. <laughs> too bad it wasn't real money, I could use some of that. So, just to reiterate, yes, I'm eating my words, because I did say this was probably the second worst tank I have, but... Um, I wanted to clarify, it's just because I'm pushing too hard with a low-tier tank and a high-tier matches. Um, so, you know, 45% win rate out of 20 matches. Uh, my damage, you can see my average damage per match is starting to go up. It was only like 700 and something the other day. But I've been playing it a little more careful when I'm bottom tier in those tier 9 matches. And doing my uh, due diligent job in actually... 
uh, being the backup, uh, you know, covering the tier eight and nines as they push forward, making sure they don't get flanked uh, or taking shots of opportunity. I'm just just playing it where I'm not taking the lead because uh, it's this has got decent armor, but uh, when a tier, you know, you get started hit with tier nine, it's just, you know, two and three hits and you're dead. So just got to play a little bit more safe. So, yeah, like I said, it's actually a good tank. Not great. It's good. It's still, it traverses really slow. If it traversed um, faster and had a little bit faster reload for doing 240 average damage, um, it, it would be, you know, a pretty darn good tank. It is pretty darn good, but it would be a lot better, I guess is the best way to put it. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that match, and I hope I made, you know, clarified what I was saying about this, because I had somebody like, you know, well, I'm you know, thinking of getting that Twitch Prime and, uh, you know, a tank, and, you know, I don't know if I want to keep, well, he's got it, but he's, he, he only played like one or two matches, and he, uh, his parents or whatever was paying for Twitch Prime, and he told them to cancel it, now he's, you know, kind of contemplating getting it back, and then he saw my video, and he was, you know, thinking about not getting it because, you know, here I'm saying it's a piece of junk. What it's actually, actually not. As long as you play it right as a support roll tank when you are bottom tier, it is a great tank. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. If you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Alrighty, so here I am again in the... King Tiger C and Pilsen. This is a tier 8 slash 7 match, and so basically we're bottom tier. Um, when you're bottom tier in this, mid tier, whatever you want to call it, since it's only 7 and 8s, uh, you still have to play it a little bit safer because the simple fact is it is slow on the. The, the worst drawback with this tank is the traverse is really bad. Um, it's slow traversing, so easy to get circle strafed. Um, you got to really watch your mini map and um, speaking of that, I'll make that a little bit bigger. And uh, your surroundings that way, if uh, there's a medium or a light tank coming around, you can get your turret turned around uh, to face them before they're on your backside and drilling you full of holes. Uh, there's a position up here that I find that I kind of like. Um, and this is kind of where we're going because you can get shots at some of the tanks as they come into the buildings over uh, to the right of us here. And you'll see, here I'm in a heavy. We ended up lighting up most of the enemy team with this heavy tank. Um, like I said, I always push hard. But see, now if I had been pre-aimed up in there a little bit sooner, we could have got a shot in there at that uh, E5P. The Patriot. I think he knows I'm here because I got spotted, so he's just kind of, he's invisible, Just he's going to try and take a shot. We take a shot at him and bounce, and I'm going to go to third view because I saw that TS-5 and I did not want to get drilled by him and lose 400 of my health in one shot. And he's aiming right at me, he's just awaiting. So he takes a shot and it looks like he missed. I was waiting for the IS-2 to shoot, and then he didn't want to shoot, so I'm like, screw it, I'm going to shoot. Well, then he keeps ramming into me, but we get a shot off, and we hit the TS-5. Um, the IS-2 ended up getting some hit for some damage. I, I don't know if it was the T, uh, TS-5 that hit him, or um, I don't really know what hit him. I go to pull out here, and I'm like, whoa, there, horsey, and then I shoot that uh, IS-2 in the side and bounce. <laughs> and I'm using uh, premium rounds because the simple fact is... That time we pen them. The simple fact is, um, if I've got tier 8s in front of me, I definitely want to be able to go through them when they shoot at me. And I'll tell you, if you get this, every time you get hit in the front, the engine's in the front of this, your engine gets taken out. Um, I'll fix, I'll use the repair kit and fix my engine, and the next thing I know, my engine gets taken out again. Uh, the only hope I had of hitting that Tiger King Tiger C there was if he pulled out enough and I knew he wasn't gonna because he could get his gun uh, to, to, to where he could shoot me, but I couldn't shoot him. But um, if I know I'm not going to win an engagement, I'll pause just real quick. Oh, check that out. It's spooky. Uh, if I know I'm not going to win an engagement, like I could have sat right here and kept pulling out and trying to take on that King Tiger C, 
um, just at the angle he was at, the angle I'm at, he's going to keep drilling me, and I'm going to keep missing or bouncing off him because I couldn't get a good shot at him. Um, all I could hit was his upper, uh, upper top plate there um, where he was getting shots at my lower plate. So if you ever get in that situation where that's going to happen to you, just break off the engagement. Don't sit there and waste your hit points. And same here with this T26E5. I took a shot into him. I know he's waiting for me to pull out. He's just waiting there. You can see his gun aiming at me. He's just waiting for me to pull forward. Well, guess what? I ain't, I'm not going to pull forward. And then I see him move. Well, guess what? Now I'm going to pull out and put a round into him. You really got to, you just want to play it safe like that when you're bottom tier in this tank. And you, you'll do a whole lot better. I was trying to bait a shot. And, uh, now he's probably, he might, he, I don't know if he's looking at me. I thought I was going to be able to put it through his commander's hatch there because it was green. But this is another thing. Okay, so I took a shot at his commander's hatch, bounced. Well, I know for a fact that there was a bunch of tanks in here. Well, guess what? That tank, that heavy, uh, that's sitting right there is dead. So that's telling me now it's time to move my little butt over here to the left right in that area here because all those tanks that are in that building are going to be coming where after me outside that door so i'm going to break off the engagement i had on these three guys and move myself over here to cover my butt over here and you'll see just as i get over there sure enough there they are so we go for the lower plate of the uh, 101P, and we actually bounce around. I want to see where he hit me to bounce that round. Uh, purple is a bounce, so looks like above the track and on the upper part of the top plate right there. I'm going to change the uh, paintball mod that shows where this hits because you can see they're really small. It's hard to see where you're getting hit. But you can see a purple scratch right there and a purple mark above the track right there. One of those two shots were from him. I'm not sure which one. But anyway, so you can see there's three tanks here. And it's like, holy crap, uh, a VK-101P, Tier 8, Leo, Tier 7, and a Pershing, Tier 8. All of them have, even the Leo still got a good gun that'll hit you for 300. The VK hits for about, I think it's 440, I believe well, I can look at what he missed. Yeah, 440, because that's what uh, he hit me and bounced. So uh, it shows the average damage was 440. So, um, yeah, they're gonna ch those three tanks are going to chew me up pretty darn quick. Now, there's artillery back there, which he got hit, and I don't, I think he gets knocked out. I'm not sure. But you can see I'm kind of by myself. Um, so I start hitting five, which is help. <laughs> but I'm going to try doing as much damage as I can before I get taken out. My, uh... Um, ammo rack gets knocked out. I get my repair back, so I fix my ammo rack. Thank goodness I just got that back. But I'm going to try and put um, as much of a hurt on these guys as I can before they take me out. Just due to the simple fact that the more I can take these guys down, the less these guys are going to have to do to knock these guys out. Well, I'm going to go for the one that's giving me shots. The Pershing is coming at me. I know I can pen them. I'm consistently going through him, and I got him down to 64 hit points. So, instead of going after the VK, which, believe me, I would have rather have gone after him just due to the fact that he's got more hit points, he's a, a, a more dangerous target, but he wasn't presenting himself for me to shoot at. And I'm not going to go chasing down uh, somebody if somebody's coming at me to give me damage. And I think the VK actually finishes me off, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yep, he did. So... Anyways, then I see this um, T29 full health. Now, this is where I was talking about map awareness in the last video I did about the races. And I and I don't like throwing people under the bus, but if you watch this T29, he takes a full health. And the thing's got an awesome gun. 300 or 320 average damage, decent reload, awesome frontal armor on the turret. And he just throws his tank away. Watch what he does. This is where... Having no map awareness gets you killed. And the thing is, is he's a decent. He was a decent player. I don't know why the stats aren't showing, but he had like a 1100 WN8. So yeah, he's gonna. He might take a hit on the way out. It happens. I understand that the Pershing was pre-aimed, but that VK. I don't know. Maybe he went to the bathroom or he's taking a break or something. But he was kind of sitting there. But 
So he's got the Pershing here, but if you look over here, there is a King Tiger setting right over here to the right that he had shots at and could have shot at versus, I understand he wanted to take this Pershing out because he's got 64 hit points, but he throws a full health T29 away for 64 hit points, and then he doesn't even take the guy out, and he ends up dying. So he's got beautiful shots in that King Tiger C. The VK is coming around. The Pershing setting there. He's got a tank behind him. And he's got the King Tiger setting there. And he's got a 45 TP. But he takes his full health, T29, and basically just throws it away. Boom. That's what you call very bad, bad, bad map awareness to take a full health tank and just get so fixed on a tank because he has 64 hit points that you do no damage because he ended up not killing the guy he ended up not doing any damage to the Pershing the King Tiger that was behind them the VK that was right there um, you know he did no damage going after a tank that had 64 hit points and here's another one he's you know he's safe because of that hill and that IS is on the other side of the building he's got and I, here, I'm the one clicking. I'm the one that's blipping that. You can see that's me. I was trying to forewarn him. Hey, dude, you got a Leo on your butt that's got 109 hit points. Start cranking your turret around. And he doesn't. He ends up getting shot and taken out. So, map awareness is your friend. <laughs> this this mini-map, if you got to make it that freaking big so that you know what's there and you pay attention to it, do it until you get used to it being there and then shrink it down a little bit and then once you get used to it being there shrink it down a little more to where you can have it this big and be like oh yep that's my mini map i know it's there you know get used to looking at it and using it get used to scanning your map i mean you can right click on your uh, mouse and then be able to spin around a third person view like that and look at what's going on around you and map awareness can make or break how well of a player you are if you have no map awareness looks like he's shooting he when you're hitting a 45 tp for 19 and 39 you're shooting he 25 why i don't know some people i just don't understand why they shoot he and I, I mean the gun on the t71 da is a decent gun it doesn't have i think it's like 175 pen for the standard but the premium it bumps you up quite a bit but Having good map awareness can make or break what kind of player you are. If you've got good map awareness, you can pay attention to what's going on around you. That will make the difference if you are a super Unicom, a Unicom player, or if you, you know, have red 100 WN8 or, you know, your orange or whatever. The better map awareness that you have, the better player you're going to be, the better you're going to do, the better stats you're going to have. So map awareness has definitely got to be high on your priority list. That and focus firing. Um, you know, when you train with your clan, make sure you train doing focus firing. Focus fire, you got to do that too. So, but map awareness is a biggie. And you can see what uh, two of the players on this team that I had um, ended up losing their tanks um, because of bad map awareness. The T29 threw away a full health T29 to get no damage uh, at what he was going after because of bad map awareness and just getting tore up. But anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll have some post-game stats for this match for you, and I'll uh, be right back. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I knew if I only showed uh, the one battle, people were going to be like, well, yeah, of course you did really good. Of course, uh, you know, you did really good in that, and it's an awesome tank because you were top tier and blah, blah, blah. So I made sure that um, I ran this match, and uh, I, I've been running the King Tiger a lot, um, and I'm bringing my stats up in it because I've been playing it all. <laughs> a lot different than I was at first. Um, in this match, I still did push up, and you can see I probably pushed up a little too fast uh, to, to the point where I spotted five of the enemies on the, the enemy team there. Um, actually, the only person that spotted the same, he spotted five too, was uh, one of our scouts, the T-71, uh, DA, TA, whatever the hell that is. This one right here, T-71, DA. Uh, he also spotted five. 
Um, but I ended up spotting five in my heavy. So, yeah, I do play it a little aggressive, but it pays off sometimes. Sometimes it can not pay off. <laughs> it can bite you in the butt. Uh, this time it paid off. Uh, I actually got my crew skill up, so I'll have to bump change that real quick. But, uh, yeah, so we did pretty good. We ended up getting uh, a Master Badge Class 2, a, a Fire for Effect, and a, a, a Bruiser. And I've been working on getting this, um, uh, where is it? Reward number one festival day. Is that it? Reward number one. Leaf. Let's talk. Oh, here it is. The India first reward. Um, I got that completed. I got to do it one more time, but it doesn't reset till like midnight and then I can do it tomorrow. Then I can start working on the India part two and then three and then four and then I'll get my PZ three dash four dash fifty two seventy eight hut hut hut. <laughs> Whatever it is, that little tier five. Um, it's a tier five that it's, uh, I guess, a pretty decent, not super good, but a decent tank. Um, but I probably will play it once or twice, but it's just the fact that I like to try and have every tank in the game. So, anyways, uh, we were uh, bottom tier in this match, uh, and it was a tier, uh, tier 8s and 7s, that was it. And so we hit the T26 E5 two times for 498. And we knocked off his track, bounced one of his rounds. I was surprised I actually bounced around from uh, a couple of these. Uh, and we originally spotted him. Uh, the VK100.01P, awesome super heavy tank. Um, we uh, shot him two times, once in the uh, lower plate and once in the commander's hatch. I was a little bit surprised I went through his commander's hatch because that is kind of a bitch to go through. But it was pretty point blank. I mean... Um, I mean, my barrel was almost touching it. So, <laughs> but uh, we put two rounds for him for 452. Bounced one of his rounds for 440, which I was really. Oh, it says damage blocked by armor, none pen. Uh, well, yeah, it was a block, so it wasn't. Um, I was thinking maybe he tracked me, but it wasn't. It actually bounced. So, wow, kudos to the armor on the King Tiger C. Ah, uh, the Pershing there. We put two rounds through him for 464. Uh, knocked off his track and knocked out his driver. Bounced one of his rounds for 240, and he got hit for 87 upon a spotting and 348 upon us knocking off his track. He kind of pushed towards the very end of my life there, and I was able to put a couple rounds at him as he pushed into me, and I knocked his track off on the last one, and he took some damage. Uh, the TS-5, I was very shocked that I was able to, because the dispersion on this is .35, um, but I was able to hit him in the lower plate. There's a certain area in the front lower plate of the TS-5, um, that if you hit it, actually, you know, I'm going to show you guys, because I've got it, and it is a bitch to penetrate that thing from the front anywhere, except for, right, eh, it's going to be kind of hard to see because of the stuff's in the way, but it's like right, oh man, I forgot, you can't see my mouse, basically, I'll put where it says exterior, Right where that says exterior, you want to shoot in that area. So underneath the teeth, um, a little bit, right where it says battle, ready for battle, where it says battle, like right in that area. If you could shoot down in that area that's low enough on the front plate of that to penetrate. Another place I've noticed is um, these gears uh, where the drive wheels are, you know, in the front of your track here. Um, which you can't see my mouse. I, freaking, I gotta figure out why it, it I gotta, I'm gonna have to Google it to figure out why it's not showing it. But, um, so you got your front, front drive wheel right there. Front drive wheel, the front sprocket. If you look on the other side of it, it comes in and it's got that, um, like where the gear would be to, to drive it. The, um, drive chain, whatever. Uh, that's where you want to shoot it. Kind of where that headlight is right, um, a, um, right across to the left of the, the smiley face, that headlight, that area right there. You can also pen it if you shoot right straight on, on that. Another place is obviously the commander hatch, but it's kind of hard to hit, and especially at any distance, really, really hard to hit. But, um, yeah, that front lower plate, if you can hit, like, in dead center, um, is just about as low as you can go without shooting underneath the tank, you can actually penetrate it. So... I was actually uh, very pleased we were able to put a round through them because that is definitely not an easy thing to penetrate for any tank, let alone a tank a tier lower. 
and we originally spotted him. We originally spotted the 45 TP. Uh, the IS-2, we put a round through him for 241. Knocked out his track, originally spotted him and the King Tiger C on the enemy team. We originally spotted him, and he got hit for 272 upon us spotting, and we originally spotted him. We did third most damage at 1878 and a base experience of 939. I'm surprised that wasn't a little bit higher. I thought it would be 1,000, considering we were, you know, low tier in a, a tier 8 match. Well, I guess it would have been tier 9s it would have been, but oh well. So we had 12 shots, 11 hit, 8 pen. I shot all premium rounds, I'm not going to lie. I'll do that when I'm uh, bottom tier on any match, in any tank pretty much, unless it's got really, really, really good pen. We got hit 8 times, 5 pen, 3 bounced for uh, 920 damage bounced. Uh, we spotted 5 damage, 5 destroyed, 0 damage with our assistance with 707. And we made 41,230 credits. Um, I didn't use any consumables that time. Which, uh, I thought my track got knocked out or my engine. I thought I used it for fixing my engine, but I might be wrong. But anyways, so yeah. Um, so that was a match when we were top tier and a match when we were, well, bottom tier, even though it was only tier 7s and 8s. Um, we were still bottom tier with some pretty heavy hitters at 4 zero, or the, uh, uh, 3.00.01p, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the, uh, the little guy there, um, the 100.01p, uh, that behemoth of a heavy, uh, kind of like the moss almost, um, yeah, I was real, real surprised that, uh, we were able to go through him like we did, and, uh, surprised we bounced around from him too, so the King Tiger sees armor held up for us, thank goodness. But yeah, anyways, uh, if you want to hold on for a minute, uh, I'll have some gameplay for you and some post-game stats, so I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 